All right, guys, uh, this is a very different video than what I normally do. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you how to take a Wii Guitar Hero mic, which I've already destroyed. Okay, that was USB. And then convert it to XLR. That way you can plug in the microphone that you want instead of being tied to the Wii. Uh, another thing that's neat about this is, notice that this is a white one, this is a black cord, so let me get the right one. White cord with an LXR end USB. One of the things that's nice about this is it's a really easy way to get a better microphone on your uh, Wii, but also it's great for recording yourself singing. Uh, you can even get an adapter where you have the male LXRN plugged in so you can put your guitar to it. may not have any effects, but you could always now, if you got a good high condenser mic, mic your guitar. If you don't want to do that, then you know maybe if you use a, an audio interface, you can actually plug in directly from that into your computer instead. But those are like a hundred bucks. This little guy, if you get one, you can find them for $5 to $3 to $15. Uh, GameStop has them pretty cheap as well, maybe 10 or 12. Can't remember, it's been a little while. But still, not bad considering if you've got one of these ends. Okay, so the first thing that I did was I had to destroy the microphone. Okay, uh, there was really nothing nice about it. I just took it and slammed it up against a chair. This part right here, it had a chrome ring which broke. <laughs> and this came off and then after that I saw the two wires. I pulled them out and broke this off. You know, and here's this rubber boot. And it was tied down into the bottom and I had to untie it. But after I got that done, I was ready to solder and stuff. So let me go ahead and show you a, uh, a wire that is <laughs> that is inside this. Uh, if you notice, this wire, it's hard to stay focused, so let me try to, well, I don't know. Let's see if we can do this. If you look, you'll see that you have two wires, okay? Uh, if you don't, then watch this. This is just the wire that is inside of the uh, microphone. It's a little bit more in focus there. There's only two wires. Okay, uh, to clean it up a little bit so you can see it, let's say you've got your wire out, but you're going to cut these ends off. So I'll go ahead and do this once so you can see it. Okay. Ugh. Clean cut. Now, looking at this, if it'll focus. Let me come back to this a little bit. There's only two wires. There's a white wire in the center. That's our positive. And then there's the uh, bare wire, which is our ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to use those two wires to connect to our LXR. So the first thing that you would want to do is you'd want to peel this back. So I just used a pair of scissors. If you've got uh, strippers, uh, that would be probably best, but hey, we're doing this on the low end. We're just assuming that you're just going to do what you can. So anyway, uh, let me cut a little bit more. I'm just trying to make sure that as I cut this, I don't cut it too, too deep. Okay, might even use the scissors to help me strip it. Oh, there we go. I got it to separate a little bit there. I pull through. There it is. So notice that you have two wires. Okay. And all I do is I peel them back and tie the grounds, all the ground wires together. Okay, so I tie all them together. And then I need to strip a little bit of the end off on the white one. So I don't need much, maybe about that much, if that. So. 
Sometimes I'm guilty. I know Dennis would hate to hear this, but I've used my teeth before <laughs> to strip wires. Uh, especially like, uh, I know, speaker wires, things like that. Anyway, so there's that. Now I've got my positive side ready to uh, be connected to the LXR female end, solder it in, and this one, my ground, which will go to either number one or number three in the LXR. Now let me get an LXR in so you can see one that's not been tampered with yet. Okay. If you ever need any of these, you can get them pretty cheap on eBay. <laughs> Um, I just bought a bunch just to have some because I constantly break cables and everything and sometimes it's just nice to start off with a fresh one. But anyway, uh, your microphone will need this at part. If you notice, these things are numbered. Uh, this one's numbered 1. I have to look at the numbers. Uh, 3, which is at the bottom, and then 2. So, like I said, one and two are separated from each other. One's over here and two's over here. I remember the camera might put it backwards for you, but anyway, one and two, and then that and down there is our ground, which is three. All right, so what we're gonna do is basically, this is a cheaper one. It's not a high quality LXRN. Like I said, I got this you know, off of eBay and I bought the cheapest ones I could. I bought like 10 at the time and I've just kept them. So, anyway, let's peel this back, push this through, and lo and behold, you have it out, okay? Now remember, we want the, uh, the white part of, the, of our wire, which is this one, our positive, to go into number two. So you find number two on the back, which is back here, and they're numbered as well, one, two, and three, to make sure. We want ours to go into two, so what you'll do is you'll take this, you'll solder it in. Now, if your soldering skills are poor, don't worry about it. I'm not the greatest at soldering either. I just put the solder to it really good, get it warm, and let it flow. A lot of people will say to always tip the ends. It's probably best to put a little solder on these. It keeps them from flaring and everything, but you either need somebody to help hold this for you or you're going to need uh, something to hold the wire steady so but anyway so you're going to solder that in now let's talk about this bare one this is our ground our ground is going to go to one and three so odd is ground so what you'll do is you'll solder that one just a little bit just enough to tag it to get it to hold into place now after you've tagged that one into place Okay, then you're going to need just to take a little piece of wire from the Wii microphone or whichever microphone you're using to do this that plugs into your gaming console that's USB. Uh, you'll cut a little piece of wire off and you'll just make a, a jumper, a jump wire to jump to both of these. That way you ground your one and your three. Okay, after your one and three are grounded, you're good. So once you finally get all this done, just remember before you solder any of this to this that you put the back end <laughs> of the LXR cable on, okay? This can be put on later. Uh, most of them are split, so you can actually uh, put them on later. That way it's not a big deal. But please make sure you put this guy on because you definitely don't want to have to undo your soldering work. So, But anyway, make sure you do that. Okay. Anyway once you get all that done I'll move this out of the way then you'll have something that looks like this okay it's all together now I'll show you my soldering uh, job which I, which I said is very 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 poor but needs to say I just wanted to get it done so I didn't really worry about it but anyway I'm taking this one apart so you can see it and here is my soldering very very messy looking but I've made sure that all of my ground is together okay I'll see if that can focus a little bit better okay so I've got my ground 
all together there. And none of the grounds are touching my positive lead. Okay. It, it's ugly. But none of them are touching. Okay. And everything's clumped together pretty good. If you're better at soldering, congratulations. But I've already tested this. This works good. So anyway, and I always test it. Which is a good idea. So anyway, time to reassemble. It's not anything too fancy about doing that. Just take your time and everything. Make sure you line these back up correctly. Okay, you've got to look down the barrel and then you just push this in. But as you push this in, make sure that this bottom is lined up with that bottom. Okay, so you slide that in. And if it doesn't go in nice and easy, then you're probably not lined up, which I'm not lined up. Sorry, it's hard to but once you get lined up, it goes in pretty easily. And you put that little boot one back in place. Okay. Once he's back in, put your ring back up. And that's this is why the back end is important. So you can make sure you get it on there. Then you can twist it. Screw it in place. If it's not going in, then maybe you've got too much out you should grab and this thing grabs now that's pretty much it as far as getting it assembled uh, that allows you to have a microphone that can be plugged into your computer that's LXR to USB and you can still use this one on your gaming console for singing okay and it's nice because you can even hook a guitar up to it and everything. So, but like I said, I use Audacity. I guess now the thing to do is to test it to make sure that everything's going to work right. So, let me show you how I do that and everything. Okay. Um, notice that I'm using Linux Mint. Okay. So, uh, I need to test this. Let me see. Here's Audacity, which is what I use. Okay. I'll pull it up so you can see it. Let me move my picture camera out of the way real quick all right so here's audacity and I'm going to try to use this notice on my microphones notice it's not picking up my um, basically Logitech microphone which is for uh, the gaming system which is okay I, but I need to get it to detect it okay so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to plug it in so just so you can see that I want to plug this in I'm going to move back a little bit so you can see this. Hey! Alright, so here's this. I'm going to plug this into my computer. Okay. So, here we go. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Okay. It's plugged in. Into there. And everything. And now I need my microphone. Let me see if this is the one that's got batteries. I'm just using a Audio Techna. Yep, this is the one that's got batteries in it, so it should work. Okay. And now, I should be able to plug this into this. Okay. So, here we go. Alright. It's on. Okay. Now, I need to get this thing to detect, so let, watch this as I try to prove to you that this will work. Um, I'm going to click on my speaker here and see if I see it. I don't see it there. I'll probably need to go on my Pulse Audio, so I'll click here, recently used, Pulse Audio. I'll click that, and let's go to Input Devices. Alright, here's the webcam that you see, my webcam, and my webcam should be dancing around, and it is dancing around, which is good. Here's the Logitech Microphone Analog, okay? now. Right now, nothing is coming through, but I've got it switched off. Okay, time to switch it on. Oh, did you see it? It jumped. Ba 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 ba. Now I'm not singing because Lord mercy, I could not sing at all. But this is just to prove to you that you can hook up a Guitar Hero mic that's USB style to your computer, and you can actually record with it. Okay. Now, how neat is that? Now, you can actually now take this thing, 
and you can actually hook it up to Audacity. You can take your favorite karaoke song and you can put your voice to it. Not only that, you can probably even record your own band with this. And for like under 20 bucks, besides the microphone, you can actually have a home recording studio. For next to nothing, that's USB interfaced. So, uh, if you like, comment. If you don't, I'm sorry. Please don't hammer me on my, uh, I don't know, my soldering skills or anything like that. It's just for awesome coolness and everything. Showing you a little bit of fun in Linux and everything. So, sorry my son is gaming. He's playing World of Warcraft. Might be a little loud. It's blasting over here. But I hope you guys got some out of it and come up with some creative ideas because I'm trying to use another program called uh, Jack, which is in Linux. And I'm going to try to run two microphones at once into my soundboard. And then if I can do that, then I can actually connect this, a left and a right channel, into my board. So anyway, guys, I hope this was helpful. It's been great. And I'll talk to you guys later. Well, I can't really talk to you guys. But you know how it goes. All right. Well, I'll make another video. All right, guys.